Welcome or welcome back to the channel in Blacksmith Master Demo. This will be my third playthrough of the demo in just a couple of days. And wow, what a freaking foundation for a game this is. I am loving this demo and I can't wait to see the game develop. Thank you uh, to the developers for putting this out. Untitled Studio, I believe, is the name. And uh, two playthroughs, zero bugs, glitches, hiccups, everything that was wrong was user error. And I'm going to have some in this one too. So if you've come to see what is a fantastic game already, uh, takes about two hours or less to get through the demo and uh, you want to see it done a disservice by someone who is not a very good content creator, let alone PC gamer, uh, you've come to the right place. I uh, just started PC gaming, and this is why, to find these kind of freaking gems. So uh, already added to my wish list. Thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I do have the music off and we're going to start a new game. I will take the biggest uh, portions of the video. I love comments, questions, everything. So uh, let's get going. I will read off most of this and I will explain uh, what's going on. So, but I'm going to do it at a, a little bit faster tempo, I think. Uh, and I'm sure there's already content out there like this. I need experience and why not me? So welcome, this is your new workshop where many amazing weapons and tools will be crafted. Since we don't have anyone to help out yet, let's finish some work manually. Press tab to switch from manager mode to controlling your character. Let's walk around a bit using WASD to see what we have inside. You can also sprint by holding down the left shift key. I will say in both the playthroughs I've done so far, I've never touched the left shift key. I think the uh, walking speed is already spot on, at least for my incompetence on keyboard gaming. Uh, much uh, more used to Xbox controllers at this point. So. As you can see, we have a lot of different blacksmithing tools inside. Most importantly, a furnace where we will heat ingots and an anvil where hot ingots get transformed into items. To expand your business, you need to make money first. For now, the only way to do that is to complete requests on the map from different parts of the kingdom. Click M to open the map and accept a request. Here we go. We only have one request. I'll read this one out in the future. I'll just talk about the rewards. So, Lumberjack. From the thick forest, we're in need of your help. Our axes have become dull, hindering our work, and we seek high quality axes to replace them. If you fulfill this request, we will teach you the art of carpentry, a skill that can be utilized to create new items. We need to craft two tomahawks. We will be rewarded with carpentry. Let's start the request. Great job. As you can see, we need two tomahawk axes to complete this request. Let's close the map and start crafting. Will do. To craft an item, press C to open the craft menu. Done. Here you can see all the items that you can craft. Click on tomahawk axe to begin. You can see the crafting steps in the bottom left corner. Follow the green marker to complete the crafting process. Press E to continue. Okay. So, moving the mouse changes our view angle, WASD, which I am horrible with, to go inside. We can zoom out with the mouse wheel. Let's, uh, let's look over this way, since this is, this is a pretty good angle. So let's come over here to the ingots. Uh, press E to pick one up and it'll slow our walking down because it's heavier. 
and now it's mini games. So here we go. The more you do this correctly, the bigger the bonus is. So I don't think there's a penalty for not getting any. And I miss one. I, I actually haven't tried that. Maybe we should try that one time. Great job on finishing the item. In order for it to be used for the map request, let's go outside and put it inside a cart. Sorry, I was already headed there. I'm so excited about this game. Let's craft one more axe. Press C to open the craft pop-up. Okay, press tomahawk. Okay, and uh, let's just go right back in. And the same process, same mini games. another perfect on that one let's see if we can step up our game here excellent and I didn't show it before so I'll show it this time we just come over we dunk our heated project and it becomes a finished product we'll take this out put it in here and we have you have crafted both axes and we are ready to complete the map request now. Press M to open the map and claim your reward. Will do, boss. Now you can also click here, but it wants us to click complete, so we'll do that. Unlocked reward. Congratulations, you have unlocked new reward. Carpentry allows blacksmiths to craft wooden items. Claim. So it wants us to back out, but you can see we have all kinds of new uh, opportunities. Now that you have carpentry, you're missing only one tool to be able to craft wooden items, a carpentry workbench. Press tab to go back to manager mode. From here, you can buy new furniture, new tools, unlock new blueprints, and later on, manage your staff. Let's go now, sorry, reverse. Let's now go to the shop and buy a carpentry workbench. Carpentry table. Place the carpentry workbench anywhere you'd like. Well, let's go ahead and put it here. And we press Z or X to rotate it. And we look at the feet prints there. And there we go. We'll put it right here. And in fact, let me take a moment and let me zoom out a little. If it'll let me, I don't... Yes, okay, it, it seems it's going to. Let's move this to the other side of the door where it's closer to the items or, or to the workstations. And since this process is always the same, let's pull these around. Okay, so the process goes better. probably like this, don't you think? So they'll come here, grab the iron ingot, they'll use the heating station, the anvil, the water, they'll store it in this box, right beside the door, and for carpentry, we'll do the same kind of process. We'll put a carpentry here, the wood here. They will grab wood, and by they, I'm not talking about myself here. I'm talking about the assistants or, or the, the workers that we're gonna hire, because quickly, this game is gonna turn from a, hey, you're a blacksmith, mope doing all your own work to you're the boss this is a management sim and uh sit back and relax and watch the game play for you as you decide who to hire uh who to fire uh how to increase uh your business oh there there is some depth here already in the demo with much more to come and i will break down 
a lot of this. So let's take one more moment here and let's talk. Of course, we have the clock up here. It's 6 p.m. on day one. There is uh, some of this is going to be locked because it wants us to uh, click that and we will. That's how much money we have. We'll talk about these uh, design points soon. We'll talk about these prestige points soon. And we'll talk a lot more about the shop, um, including some of these other tabs that we'll be able to use. But for the moment, great work. You're well prepared to continue growing your business. Just remember to keep completing map requests. That's how you'll progress and improve your workshop, like hiring new workers or unlocking new item blueprints. So there we go. I was a little bit ahead of the game. So we do have a uh, time progression. So we can click to pause, play, or fast forward. One, two, and three also will control those. And for the people who are concerned, absolutely, spacebar is pause. Next, press M to open the map and select. Now, these are the jobs that we can choose from. And doesn't this map look like it might expand and we might be getting more items down here to the south or over here to the east and potentially even have shipping where we'll be able to uh, either interact or travel to other parts of the map? Oh, and there's a lot more. We'll talk about that right now. Progress. So here is not just what is available that we've already unlocked, what's locked, but there's also what's coming in the full version, the roadmap. So let's take a moment and go through these. So we already have carpentry. We have the, we're going to, in this demo, unlock smelting one, hiring other, so we'll be able to uh, smelt our own ore into ingots. We'll have hiring where we can hire more skillful workers. We'll unlock blueprints to where we can design uh, and craft new items. We'll unlock a shop where we can increase our revenue through creating merchandise for display and purchase and hire cashiers to sell it. Um, we'll be able to hire workers for all of our needs to make us into a, a more hands, well, I shouldn't say hands-free, but it'll be where we have to, we don't have to interact with all the workstations. However, you can still do that if you want. There's nothing forcing it to be a management sim. It's optional um, to a degree. Ore crate where we can uh, craft our own ores into ingots. It'll help with the process. A higher level smelting and that will be the end of the tutorial. We will get through all that and we, I will show um, all these features and how they work. The other thing I was going to say is I did test going into bankruptcy in my second playthrough and it did not end the game. It did not penalize me that I could tell. It just kept me in a negative balance until I made enough money to get out of a negative balance. So fantastic. Um, now, the full version. Oh my God. I think there's one or two things that they talk about at the end of the demo um, that I don't remember mentioned here. So I'm going to, again, timestamp all of this uh, pretty much. And uh, if you see something I didn't timestamp, let me know and I'll change the timestamps. But cooking. We're going to have cooking where you can cook meals for your staff, probably increasing productivity or maybe satisfaction. Uh, iron mining, where we'll be able to either mine ourselves or have our staff go mine for uh, ores. Uh, a sharpening wheel where we'll be able to, it looks like, uh, take uh, orders from customers who need things fixed, repaired, or sharpened. Uh, second third, and even fourth floors. A cave cauldron where we'll be able to increase our miner's stamina. 
iron mine, copper mine, silver mine, gold mine. I know I'm jumping around, but I'm trying to keep them together as well. Um, advanced metalworking, tanning, regeneration for miners, even more skillful workers, even higher level smelting, even more increased stamina for miners. Potions and potion making, jewelry and jewelry making. Pardon me. One of the things I think I, I saw in the, um, the thanks uh, menu and what might be coming in the game was coin minting. So just a little in advance. So let's look at these now. So I thought we'd be able to click home and just uh, forego this. That isn't how it works, um, unless I'm missing where you're supposed to click it. But okay, so these I'm going to call permits. These jobs give rewards, and we can look at them. And it shows you what's needed, and what the rewards are how much coin you'll make, and how many permits you'll get. And these permits come in handy for these type of requests that don't show a permit icon. In this, we'll need two permits, and the reward will not be coins, we'll unlock the ability to hire staff. So we need to do two jobs, and then we can take this request and we can hire staff so let's just get right into it and we're going to need to do two jobs ourselves so let's see what's just going to going to be the fastest well this one's going to be fast so let's just take that just so we can get to hiring people that much faster so we need to tab out of this we need to start crafting we need to choose down here iron goblet I think I'll move it over this way now we'll grab our ingot the ingot you'll see that the stack has 147 that's how many ingots we have left uh, before we run out and over here on the wood you'll see we have 30 now I'm gonna go through this in a moment so let's finish this and I'll, I'll talk more about that for a moment. So same mini game, but maybe in the future that will, uh, sorry, changing the volume on the TV, will change. Maybe there'll be different mini games. Maybe I have that in a bad position. Maybe I need it for myself, not for the staff. Um, when we, up oh, miss that. Uh, yeah, way off. Um, now, for the staff, they're going to navigate this much better because uh, they didn't work with controllers their whole lives. They will put it into this box and then we will have a storage box. Then we'll have an assistant who will actually be hired to bring items out here and put on the cart. So there we go. We've uh, completed the request, so we hit M to go to the map. Now we can hit complete or we can hit the request with the green check mark. Now we have one permit of the two needed. So let's see if we can, that one needs three, so we'll skip that. That one needs three, we'll skip that. So we'll take this one, which only needed two. And we'll get to do the woodworking as well. So we can uh, show both. So let's back out. And let's go in here and we're going to hit C to craft and we're going to let's do the wood first we'll do the wooden scoop and let me move this so we pick up wood from the wood pile we come over to the work table workbench crafting table and this mini games the easiest to me um, to get a perfect on in fact, I was thinking, oh, and then I, I'm, I can't narrate and gameplay at the same time. Um, it's hard enough for me to do either, to talk or to play. 
But uh, I was thinking that maybe there could be like a perfect line in the middle where you get an extra bonus if you can hit the perfect uh, line. Just a thought. Okay, so we do not need to craft another. There's a fast um, select button. It won't craft it for you, but it would choose it for you. So let me rotate around so we can uh, come back through this process. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, e. Oh, yes, yes, need to, only my third playthrough. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we need to pick it up. Okay, we finished the day. Uh, let's talk about the daily summary real fast. And uh, after uh, tomorrow, we'll, I'll go through more of uh, the design and the uh, build features, things like that. So here's our summary. We uh, made $200 to the positive, but we spent $300 and we're at uh, $1,900. Angry customers, we don't haven't opened up shops yet, but we will. We have no angry customers. And here's the items we crafted and their values. So, and they will stack where we'll be able to see multiple days progression. Okay, uh, we need to hold T to start a new day. And here we go. Let's uh, use this. Yeah, I'm, for me, this is a bad layout. For the people we hire, this shouldn't, should be more efficient, probably. So come over here, use this, go out to the cart, complete our order on the map. And now, we now have our two permits. We can unlock staff. And we definitely are going to unlock staff because unlocking staff turns this into our management sim that I'm anxious to get through, or I'm sorry, to, not through. So let's escape out of here. Let's craft our wooden mace. We'll go inside. Sorry, I'm trying to change the angle and do this. And let's use this. I get a redemption to get a perfect here. Three, three times that redemption, I suppose. It doesn't seem there's a timer on this either. And uh, so I guess it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I think having a middle line, like a yellow line down the middle of the green, where you get a bonus uh, for hitting those could be a cool little thing. No bugs, no nothing. The game has worked, this demo has worked perfect for me each and every time. I am so amazed at how good this is. Um, and I definitely encourage everyone Please, uh, you know, if you have any remote interest in this game, I highly recommend playing the demo. Um, if not wish listing it, no, I'm not going to, you know, uh, put a wish list or anything like that. Um, that's not what this channel is about. I'm not here to to make money off of anyone who watches these videos. I'm I'm here just to play games and enjoy uh, the community of YouTube. Redemption. Let's go, guy. Need those staff. Here we go. And we can complete this. And uh, congratulations, you've unlocked a new reward, staff. You can hire workers to help you with crafting items. Claim that. And uh, we're going to back out before we select another job because it's going to walk us through more of the tutorial here. You just unlock the ability to hire staff, which will help you scale up your production. For now, you can hire blacksmiths who craft stuff and assistants who move stuff around. Your employees work on their own and they always pay attention to you too. If they need a tool you're already using, they will wait for you to finish. And 
Likewise, if you have multiple staff, they'll wait for the other staff to get out of their way. In order to hire staff, you need to buy benches where they sit when they have nothing to do, so let's do that first. Press tab to go into manager mode, click here for the shop, click staff, and let's purchase our first bench. And we'll just put it right here, but we will turn it around. There we go. For every bench, you can hire three employees. Let's hire two blacksmiths first. Click the staff button. Click, it does say hire. Click, and it shows that we can hire three uh, staff. Later, uh, it appears, it will also show us how many miners we can hire. So we can hire blacksmiths and assistants for now. And in the demo, we'll also unlock the ability to hire cashiers. But for now, it's blacksmiths. You can see that every blacksmith has different stats for working with metal, working with wood, and for designing new items later on. So, to hire employees, you need to pay tax, which rises with the total number of employees. Choose any two blacksmiths to hire. This is what they were talking about first, the blacksmith level, level three, level one, level two, and level one. So obviously this blacksmith is the highest level and has the most perks. The first one is for metalworking. The second is for carpentry. The third is for design. We will unlock design very soon and we will talk about uh, that at that point. For me, it makes no sense uh, to have a designer, since that's their only function, that has any perks in blacksmithing, metalworking, or carpentry. And conversely, it makes no sense to have a blacksmith who has points in design. So we're going to take Diana for now. She will be our first blacksmith. And she has one bonus point in uh, metalworking. We're going to take Neil as a temporary, and the time is running in the background, so I really should have paused probably. I think it's running. So we're done here. La let's now hire one assistant. Assistants are needed to carry crafted items to carts and racks. Okay, let's hire one assistant. Assistants have stats also for walking speed and how many items they can carry in a bag. Hire any assistant you want. So one speed, two items. For us, let's go with Ella. Let's close. Oh, great job. Now you have some help. So item production is faster. Let's go back. Yes, let's. Should have paused, probably. If you prefer to just manage the workshop without controlling your blacksmith, you can always use tab and open manager mode, which allows free camera movement and speeding up time. That's it for now. You are ready to continue. And yes, we are. So we'll choose our next reward. Now, we are not going to have the permit points, but let's see what it is. Blueprints where we'll be able to design new items for crafting, which is why we hired Neil. So we need two jobs to do that. So let's just take another job. Let's back out and let's stay in management mode and start the timer and watch our wor staff work. I'm, I'm gonna move the character out over here and come back and let's now watch the staff work. I want to get a little bit better angle so we can see all the workstations. Oh. And we can zoom in some too. So here we go. We have the blacksmiths. One is cr already created their item and put it in the storage 
Now they're going back for a second. Here's our black second blacksmith waiting to put the item in storage. Our assistant is taking the first completed item to the cart. Love the graphics, love the animation, love the water. This game is just fantastic, as is at the moment. It's obviously uh, short and doesn't have a ton of content in that it can be completed in two hours, but still, just what a job. What a great job so far. So we're getting ready to complete this. And yes, we'll speed up time in the future and, and go a lot faster uh, with some of this. So there is one. Let's just go right for the second. Um, start it up, back out, and go. And we are going to expand our business and do a, not much design, but we'll be adding more uh, staff and workstations uh, as we progress. So bear with me again, timestamps should allow you to go to any section that you might find more interesting at any point. Oh, complete it already. Pause it with one. Let's go over here and let's just go right ahead and go for blueprints. Let's back out and let's, we will not be able to complete five items in, uh, in two hours. It's midnight every night that the uh, day ends and our recap uh, appears, our summary. So it well, looks like we're gonna get four done Oh, we will get all five, but I don't think we'll get all five on the cart. I think that last one might. Yeah, she she ran out of, of work. So day's over, but very first thing in the morning, uh, we'll be good to go. So we made another 400 coins after our, uh, our 405 coins profit after our revenue and our expenses. We still have no customers because we haven't opened the the shop and here was what I was saying about you can go back and compare days so let's start our new day quickly watch as our assistant takes two items to the cart see she took both items let's uh, slow it down let's pause it let's complete this quest and here we go congratulations you've unlocked a new reward Blueprints allows blacksmiths to design new items for crafting. Let's claim that. To unlock new blueprints and upgrade existing ones to increase the selling price of the items you need to earn design points, here is how. Step one, buy a design table. Assign a blacksmith to design in the staff menu. Wait for the blacksmith to generate design points spend design points in the blueprint menu. We will do all this, but I don't know that we're going to do it at the moment. I think we're going to wait and we're going to unlock shops next. So let's start another job and let's get these people moving. I want another revenue stream before we start uh, doing things that aren't earning us money. Because designing is not going to immediately earn us any money, uh, although it will unlock one of the last things we need to do to advance uh, the progression of the demo. And we have 132 ingots, so we don't need to quickly uh, convert ore to ingots. We'll do that later. Um, so just bear with me. I'm going to slow it down uh, as she puts the last item on. We'll finish this job. Now, the ingots are something that we need to craft. The wood, however, is something that we need to buy. In fact, uh, we don't need it yet, but we will do that soon. So let's complete this job and let's take one more. Let's back out. So yes, uh, it's 25 per wood plank or, or log 
if you will, and there is no discount for buying in bulk. So whether you buy one or you buy 30, each one is going to cost 25 coins. There is different wood in the game, or at least there will be. Um, pine and ash are also uh, in there. You know, that's something I haven't tried. Maybe we'll buy an extra wood pile later and see if we can uh, choose pine or ash. Or when this one goes empty, maybe we'll see if we can change it over. So I'll see if I can remember that. Um, let's speed this up, finish this job. This will go really fast. And here we are, should be finishing it right now. And there we go. So let's complete this one. We now have our two permits and we can unlock our shop. So let's start that. Fast forward. And we're coming very quickly to the point where we're going to explore um, expanding the shop and or expanding the footprint of this building and doing a little bit of decorating or design and putting uh, the ability to sell items in here as well. So um, probably day four that's that's going to happen um, since we're quickly running out on day three. So already done with one set of items and this will finish the job. Well, I guess we, we probably could just do it now, couldn't we? All right, let's pause and let's... Congratulations, you've unlocked shop. You can buy racks, a checkout counter, and sell items to customers. Besides crafting items for map requests, you can also sell them in your own shop to earn passive profit. Blacksmiths will create will craft items. Assistants will display them on racks and customers will come in to buy. Buy racks, choose what is displayed on each rack, buy a checkout counter, hire a cashier. We are going to do all this. But first, we're going to take another job. We're backing out and... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. Day four, we'll start off with uh, working on designing uh, our new building area and putting a shop in. So uh, bear with me. We'll just make a little bit more money and get another permit or two here. And uh, oh, let's pause. We've got a uh, warning indicator that one of our blacksmiths is ready to level up. When, or just leveled up, I should say. And they're ready to have a new perk. So this is not the person that we hired to design. So we can either increase their speed with the metalworking or we can increase their speed with carpentry. I'm gonna go with metalworking because right now uh, the majority of the demo seems to be metalworking. So let's do that. Now, Neil, we would increase his design because ultimately he's here to design for us. But we're not, we're not in need of a designer right now. It's better to have two blacksmiths working through this. And we will hire more, uh, but just not at the moment. So. Here we go, finish this job up momentarily. Slow it down, pause it, complete it. I'll just complete it here. Um, and, uh, wow, that pays nice, huh? Now see how these are, are in orange colored boxes and lit up? If we did not have the required uh, knowledge and needed to use design points to craft something, it would not have the orange box and it would be kind of gray scale. So FYI. So here we go with the library request, grand library request, sorry. Don't want to insult your grand library. 
I'm champing at the bit here to uh, get to day four and start working on the design of the building and putting the shop in here. But we're going to need, oh, we got another level up. Let's pause. Let's, uh, Neil is going to get the design point and confirm. And Neil will get replaced uh, soon. Actually, maybe we will just uh, put a design shop in or a design uh, bench in next. Uh, I can't remember. Did we unlock that? Well, we'll find it all out tomorrow. I'll know what we can do and what we can't do. Um, doesn't look like we'll be able to complete today's uh, job until the morning. So, yep, we're, we're not going to make it. Everyone's going to stop. And there we go. Our day summary, day three, and we can also look back previous days for comparison. Uh, made 640 with no uh, expenditures except for staff costs, which don't seem to show up in here. And we have no angry customers because we have no shop yet. And uh, there we go. At least I don't think they come in until we put in uh, shop items. So let's start our new day. We're, we're close. I'm, I'm just going to finish this and then I'll pause and we'll expand. So let's just finish this job out. Because once I start explaining, I'm probably going to explain, oops, sorry, explain uh, quite a bit. So I'd like to do as much explaining as possible all at once. So we finished that. We would now be able to either work at jobs for more money and more permits, or we could unlock smelting one, which would allow us to replenish the ingots that we're currently using uh, to craft all the metal items. So let's go back. So yes, we still have 112, so I don't feel a real need uh, for speed to uh, craft our own ingots quite yet, but uh, we'll see how much money we have after all of our uh, purchases coming up. It's, a, it's warning us that we haven't selected a request on the map or a job on the map, so I'm not concerned about that. Now, let's we've talked about the things up top and this just goes back to the day summary that was something i couldn't uh couldn't click on before that i was trying to show so these are our design points these are our prestige points design points work with the blueprint okay let me let me back up there's the shop tab which allows us to buy things which we've already done there's the blueprints tab which shows the items that we have unlocked the items that we need to um, unlock in the future and how many design points will be in, uh, needed to unlock some of the items. If you click on an item, it also shows you what the recipe is uh, that you would need to craft that item. So that's blueprints. For prestige, the way we earn that is through designing, uh, putting decorations up in our shop. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go into our shop and we want to go into build mode here and we want to remove some walls. So we're just going to Did I not click it? There it goes. Sorry, it didn't highlight. I was, it didn't look right. So we'll take this wall out. We'll take this, well, these walls, I should say, uh, these two walls out. Now, this is, at this point, the complete area that we have to purchase. And we've already seen there's going to be up to four floors, maybe more, who knows. But here's what we have so far. So let's go ahead and 
by quite a bit. Now, I, I did experience in my first playthrough, I was going a little bit fast and it accidentally went in here, around here, over here, and then down. And I lost 150 coins because you do not get uh, refunds for uh, destroying the wall after you purchase it. Maybe, I wonder, can you click the walls? Yeah, I, I don't, like with items, you can click them and you have the option to put them in storage or to sell them but that does not seem to be the case for walls. So right click them, no. So I needed to be more careful and I wasn't. Let's, uh, I don't know if you actually need walls. Do you have to have walls in the game to have a building? Let's try, why put walls in? It costs money. Let's just leave that wall and see what happens. Um, Let's come back here. We did unlock this. It's only $200 since we're not putting in a crap ton of walls. Let's go ahead and put a design table here. We're going to need more staff. So we'll buy another staff workbench. We are going to want racks because we will be... Um, selling items so first let's sell utensils which will give us 20 prestige points and prestige points are used to calculate um, how many prospective customers you get a day so let's put this here well, without the wall there, it's kind of weird, but who cares, right? Oh, pro I guess that's overlapping with where a wall would be. Can it go there? Yeah, okay. Then we need the special. We need a checkout counter. And let's uh, zoom in so I can see a little bit better. And let's put that, let's turn it Sorry, this way, uh, actually this way. So our, our staff worker will be on that side and the customer will be on this side. Now, let's click off that. We can paint items as well, or we can just come here and choose a color. So just awesome. <laughs> I'm just blown away, enamored with this game. So I'm going to come back here and buy a tour for fun uh, to show you that it doesn't give you the whole wall. You, you need a door. I don't know if people will walk through this way without a door there, and I don't want them to come all the way down to this door, so I'll just throw one there since we're not buying all the walls. Um, okay, so let's... Go back into I'm trying to think. We don't do we need anything else for build mode? At the moment, no. We need staff now. So let's hire staff. What are we going to need? Well, we need a blacksmith because we need someone to craft for the racks. We need Neil in the future to start designing new items, but for the moment, we're going to hold off on that. So let's hire a blacksmith, and we want them to have woodworking, and none of these people do. We can re-roll. But at this point, I don't really care if they have a bonus. And uh, we'll just take someone who has woodworking now. I'm sorry, who has metalworking now. And then we'll, uh, we'll change them over later. So I'd rather keep Diana doing uh, map requests. So this person will craft for the racks. This rack will display wooden scoops because we have less jobs uh, for the map that require wood at this point. 
and it's also the most expensive thing we've unlocked. So th the new blacksmith will come in, grab wood, go to the workbench, put it in here. When um, our assistant Ella has time and she isn't taking things to the cart, she'll bring things to the rack. Next, we need a cashier to put at the checkout counter. So Dame and uh, Christiana, Dame is a much shorter name. Uh, they both have level two uh, for communication. So we'll hire her. And we will get an angry customer, maybe multiple today, as we uh, as we uh, wait for these shelves to be stocked. So let's go back to the map and let's work on, we need a third permit. So let's grab one more job. Let's stay away from the wood since uh, that bench is going to be used uh, for crafting. It won't matter. It looks like they're all going to be. Well, this is the. We'll just take this one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just use this. OK, let's escape. Um, we'll, I'll explain a little bit more of this as we go through. Uh, but for now, it looks like she did come through the door. So uh, I don't know. We'll watch and see how the customers, if any of the customers come through this way. But my imagining, I'm imagining they're going to go through the door. What will be interesting in the future is uh, when we start working with smelting our own ingots, will the staff go through the doors or will they just walk right to the warehouse? So we'll see that in uh, just a short bit. You know what, this playthrough is going to probably take about two hours because I am maybe over explaining things. Oh, I need to pause it. We just completed our job. So let's click on that and let's unlock smelting now. And that'll be all metal work. So it will not impede our uh, ability and there she goes now putting our ladles on the rack so we'll be ready for some customers and there's our first customer he did not use the door so we, well but the door did open and close even though he didn't come through the door right did I not did I miss see that let's see he'll probably go out the door but let's see if the next one I thought he slid through between the wall and the rack but the door still opened and closed um, We'll check the next time, see if I uh, if I was wrong. Actually, I'm going to slow the time down uh, when I see someone approaching and we'll see if uh, if that happens. So we're only going to get three to five customers today because we only have 120 prestige. I'll pause it for a minute in the shop. We can go into decorations and that's what these prestige points are for. So for spending 75 coins, which we definitely have, and putting in a plant, we now get many more customers. So that was 80. If we want to spend more money, there's potentially more prestige. So I guess the key would be uh, to determine, like, this is one for one almost. This is obviously much better. These are the plants we should have bought. So how much could we sell this for? It isn't going to say. I think it immediately sells. Eh, let's sell it. Yeah, see, we only get a portion back. But these have so much higher prestige for the same money that let's go ahead and put one here. And let's buy one of these. And, uh, oh, well, I guess I could check and see if there's even more prestige. So, um, what's that? Almost somewhere around one and a half. Just about one and a half times. So is there anything that gives us greater than one and a half? And I don't see any. 
It looks like everything else has a much lower ratio of prestige points to cost. Um, yeah, those two plants seem to be the best. So let's go ahead and buy the other plant because I also don't know if buying the same plant over would uh, increase. So now we'll get 10 to 14 customers a day, which I don't need. Oh, here comes our customer. So let's slowly go a two. They did not use the door and the door did open because they were close enough. Okay. I don't know that we have enough ladles up there, but uh, it looks like we have two. Oh, uh, we're not going to have enough. We're going to get we're going to get hammered here. Um, yeah, we need another assistant. Let's pause, and we need a second assistant to um, carry items so that uh, those racks stay stocked. Um, and no one has like multiple, they've just carry and bag, but not, you know, multiple bags. So we'll just take, uh, Alviva and hopefully that will start restocking because we're going to have some angry customers today. So let's, oh yeah, we're going to have probably quite a few. Okay. So there's our new worker coming in. She is going to use the door. Let's just speed up. So we made 66 from a sale there. Here we go. Yeah, now we're gonna restock the shelves better. Um, we're down to five wood. I did remember we were going to see if we could buy a different type of wood for fun. Let's pause, because we do have a level up on uh, her. Let's, uh, let's load her up. I don't care about her speed. I want her to be able to carry more items. Okay, and we're done with our map request. I don't even know when that lit up. Now we can smelt. Next, we have two more um, reward jobs rather than just getting uh, permits and coins. So this one allows us to, I'm sorry, it clicked the wrong one, hire more skillful workers. So we can get a higher tier or higher level worker that already has more bonus traits. So that's good and very interesting. This allows us to store ore uh, for smelting, which speeds up our ability to smelt. Both are interesting. The problem is we don't have any uh, permits, so we can't take either of those jobs yet. So let's just grab one, preferably that doesn't take wood or that takes uh, less wood items. That one only takes two and that one takes all. So we'll stay away from that and let's just, we'll take this one for now. Let's back out. Let's speed our process up some. Yeah, I think we're going to have quite a few angry customers today. Um, now we can start smelting. We still have a high, 100 iron ingots. We have a lot of money. So let's go ahead and start with the smelting. And I'll show how that works now that we've unlocked it. So let's pause for a moment. We need to go into our shop and we need to buy a smelter. And we'll put it down here because this is the warehouse where the iron is stored. So we need to hire an assistant to come to the warehouse, grab as much, or actually it would only, at this point, they can only grab one at a time. They'll bring one ore to the smelter, they'll smelt it, they'll take it over and put it on our ingot stack. In the future, when we unlock the ore box, we can have them bring ore, uh, multiple ore to the box and then a different person will take the ore from the box smelt it and bring it over so i'll show you that later but for now all we can really do is one at a time smelt ingots one at a time but we'll start on that um let's hire we can hire one more person and let's hire an assistant 
and we'll hire uh, well Nicholas is the only one who has uh, both skill points so we'll hire Nicholas to use the smelter uh, carrying ingots is not relevant at this point we will get to that mate no actually I don't think we will so we're getting 10 to 14 customers a day we uh, need to start I believe his name was Neil over on the designs so but I want to unlock the higher level uh, workers so let's race through these jobs that we need to unlock that now I want to watch him to see if he goes yeah see we don't even need walls awesome awesome I'll remember to see if that happens when the re when the early access for if I can get my hands on it uh, when early access comes out because yeah why spend money on w unnecessary walls right oh I will pause before I forget floors are free so in here uh, were the walls but and there's also upper walls lower walls for what I guess uh, but here any flooring you want you can uh, get for no cost and you can do different colors of flooring different styles I guess so for different zones so I just I wanted to say that before I got forgot and then here are uh, you know carpets and rugs and runners that you can get uh, that can also uh, increase your prestige but it appears well these are one and a half so actually those might be some of the best ways as well uh, since it's a one and a half to one ratio uh, for prestige so let's go the problem is we probably don't have enough stock yet to uh, warrant increasing our customers let's hold off so let's progress the day so yeah, uh, you can change flooring at no cost. Apologize, I should have uh, probably shown. Actually, we do have a lot. We we might be able to. Oh, now I see that we're out of the wood. Can we change this? No, that that'll be part of the next game. We, we're stuck with oak. So let's refill this at the full uh, cost. Good. So now um, we've probably kept them from crafting more of. The materials we need up oh, pause because our job is completed so let's accept that and we need one more uh, but we have not unlocked the butcher's knife so we can't even do this one until we start to get design points so with that being said um, Let's do the ore crate next. And because also they don't need any wood to craft that. Um, let's go ahead and hire another. Yeah, we need another bench. So let's buy a bench for the staff that's under staff in the shop. And we'll put it here. And uh, we need we need a couple things. Now, <clears throat> upon, you know, early access when there's probably going to be more of the game or the full release, I could see um, having multiple stations. Like you only need one ingot uh, supply right now, and you probably only need one water uh, bucket supply because of how fast those, those interactions are. This, but using multiple storage boxes and using uh, multiple workstations uh like the anvil the um i guess forge um the carpenter's bench those you know we could look to optimize uh performance and speed um so i would probably put in multiple anvils and multiple uh forges here uh, to increase productivity and turnover time of the jobs in the demo i don't think it's necessary because they'll just wait um 
So with that being said, let's uh, let's go. Let's unlock the the box over here because we will see this number start to go down pretty rapidly. And after this, we uh, will go ahead and move. Tomorrow we'll move. Actually, we'll do it now. So here's day four. We definitely spent more money than we made. Um, we had no angry customers. Awesome. Uh, sold quite a few wooden scoops in the shop for almost 400 coin. So let's, uh, and we can, we can also uh, add another rack to the shop and start selling different items. But for the moment, I think what we really are going to need to do, let's pause. We're going to need to hire another um, blacksmith because we need a designer now. Because uh, we need to start earning design points. So let's look to hire a blacksmith. Actually, uh, to replace Neil since he already, oh, see, Emma had two as well. So I, and Bouchard, um, Burchard has two, but uh, we don't need that. In fact, I don't like any of these people because none of them have any point. Uh, everyone has a point in design that's unnecessary. So we'll just take someone like Baldwin because he has one point in each of the others. So he's the new Neil. Neil's the new designer. I hope all that makes sense. So let's, uh, let's play it at a regular pace. And as soon as Neil finishes his current task of uh, crafting one of these items, he should come over and we should start to earn design points. And since he has a design um, level two to his design trait, uh, we should see uh, design points accumulate quicker. And with most people, they would not be able to stand. I, uh, I left a different tile in there. So let's, uh, it's this, right? Let's rectify that. There we go. Probably should put all the flooring to the same, but, uh, that one was just egregious. So here, now we have a designer. So let's go ahead and speed things up and we can look at it and it'll show 30 design points per day. So probably by the end of the day, we'll be able to unlock the, what is it? The, the label or the metal scoop. It's something like that that we need to unlock. So 25 design points should do it. So I'm sorry, I don't know because we didn't hire him at exactly 8 a.m., but we might have enough design points by the end of the day we can unlock this and hopefully we can get enough permit points where we can get higher tier uh, staff. And we're getting, I think we're past halfway through the demo now, and it'll probably start to go a lot uh, quicker as we, uh, you know, come to the conclusion. Okay, someone leveled up, so let's uh, let's go ahead and pause. Well, well, we'll just, actually we'll pause because they're almost done. Let's go ahead and see which staff leveled up. It was uh, Diana, and we'll just keep, plugging away on metalworking with her. Let's close that and let's just speed it up. Okay, yeah, they're, they're gonna finish right now. So let's uh, complete this and now we can do ore crates. These crates are used to store ores closer to smelters so assistants don't have to walk a long path to the warehouse to fetch ores. Buy an ore crate, assign an assistant to carry ores, click edit in the assistant info menu, choose source and destination for carrying. I, everything is explained very well and I'm very appreciative for that. We have no points and we need two to unlock that. So let's just grab two that hopefully don't require any wood. Here we go. 
Let's uh, come back. Now we're going to need an ore box over here. And we're going to need an assistant. Do we have enough spaces on the bench? Yes. So we need an assistant um, who can carry as much as possible. And she will carry oars. And we'll watch this as she comes on board. So let's just run it. OK, let me pause because I didn't finish the process. This is not tricky. It's just as the developers put in that little four step tutorial, we need to assign her to come to this warehouse, grab ores and put them in this ore box. So it's showing us in red. Well, first it's showing us this warning message. There is no assistant ordered to put ores inside some ore crates. God, this game is just so polished for a demo, in my opinion, uh, who's so used to Xbox games coming out. <sighs> just wrecked. Um, so we click her and she, it's in red and it's saying she carries ores constantly, but she doesn't know where she's supposed to get them or where she's supposed to go. So we need to edit that and it's showing us in green. There's the building she needs to go. There's the box she needs. Now she'll constantly carry those ores from the warehouse to the ore crate. Beautiful, isn't it? Simple hand holding perfectly executed here she comes she will now come in here to grab three ore and drop them now he's going to one time grab an ore and do this let's pause because someone's ready to level up and i want to slow the timer down uh the speed i should say of the game down for a moment so this is our designer so now we'll get even more design points we've already got 13 today Let's uh, do a regular. So now there's ore here ready for him. So he should just be taking this ingot to here, then coming to the box and smelting while she will keep bringing to the box. The problem now becomes we don't want her to have a short walk and him to have a long walk. So we're going to pause. If I can get there before he does, we can move this box over to here. We can move this over to here. And we can move this to here. So now they can still come and grab this conveniently, work their way through those workstations. She'll have to come all the way over here with three ore, but our assistant smelter will be able to grab the ore, put it in here. It'll come out here. In fact, if we turn this one time, two times, three times, now add out of work. Now he'll grab the ore, put it in here, grab it from here, put it on here, go back. And we can paint it. All right, let's get going. Oh, and it's so wonderful to be able to record gameplay that isn't limited to an hour. Screw you, Xbox. And that I don't have to have uh, multiple ways to record audio and video. Oh, God. PC gaming. I always knew it was better, but this is just... Ugh, it's a different world, isn't it? And now Xbox is raising, what is it, $19 billion to buy Steam. Just mash my head into the, you know, brick wall. <sighs> so we should see the ingots uh, not deplete nearly as fast. So see how this process is just going to work out so much better. And that, you know, he will be able to better keep up with the... Um, creation of ingots and she'll be able to 
uh, bring enough to keep him from having to go over there and get any for himself. So let's speed up. Let's uh, change the camera angle back here. Our shop is nice and fully stocked. So we're still getting 10 to 14 customers. In fact, our shop is so well stocked, I think it's time to maybe, I'm um, sorry, uh, throw down. It's under special, no? What, where were the rugs? The rugs, here, right? Yeah, let's throw down. Ooh, that's nice and long here. Uh, let's Z it one time. Yeah, right here maybe. And now we'll get some more customers, right? Oh, we got to check our wood supply. Uh, let's just go ahead before I forget. I, I do think it might be interesting. Oh, we can level someone up. Um, what is he doing? Sorry, I forgot to look. Uh, let's go back. Okay, he's crafting for the racks. So, well, then we want him to have wood. Because only wood is uh, necessary for that. After we unlock the uh, higher tier people, we'll switch some of them out if we have enough money. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get better people suited to the tasks at hand. So... Another sale at the shop, another satisfied customer, another 66 bucks. Let's pause it. M, there's our first permit. We need one more. Uh, that's not what we want to do since all that takes wood. That takes six wood. Uh, that only takes three. We'll do that. Let's escape out and just fast forward through the end of the day. We're at day five now, going on to day six. And tomorrow we will uh, use our design points now that we have enough to unlock the item necessary. So here we go. We uh, made more than we spent today, even though we had quite a few expenditures and uh, no angry customers, which I did not see any punishment or penalty for angry customers in a previous playthrough and there's the shops making a little bit more money and the money we made from our map requests and the total items crafted so here we go let's t to a new day everyone's working which is good except for me i'm just standing over there And there's lights that we can put on the walls that would also increase our um, prestige, but I, it, it's not necessary for what we're doing now. So we're just going to roll through until we are ready to complete or until we complete this uh, map request. And yeah, look at this. Uh, he's just barely falling behind or her... Uh, bringing over the oars barely see it's back to six she'll have it back to nine so they're just about keeping even actually and we're doing good on here yeah everything's doing good i don't know if i finished my thought before but i was thinking that maybe there would be a way that you could have this auto resupplied because uh, or maybe just you need to think every you know day or every you know whatever you need to refill the wood uh piles um Okay, here we go. Uh, we need to unlock the butcher knife. So let's back out to the map, go to the design points, and where is the butcher knife? So we click on it. Um, that's what we need. We click on lock. We go back to the map. We click this, and we are ready to start hiring more skilled workers as soon as we complete this map request. Assistant who's ready to level up. And 
he's doing the ingots. No, the smelter. So it really doesn't matter because he can only carry one at a time anyway. And the speed is so irrelevant because of how close all the workstations are. But we'll give him more speed just to take care of that warning indicator. You know, I really, I'm, in all honesty, I hope I'm doing this demo um, some justice because it really is so good. And I fear that I'm not uh, the best per, not even close to the best person uh, to uh, demo this game for YouTube. But I, I hope that, that, uh, that I'm doing okay. That's all I want to say. So we still have a lot of design points. Uh, the money's still doing good. Getting a lot of customers. The rack is staying full. Um, the uh, ingots are actually slowly working their way up. Everything's running smoothly. We saved a ton of money by not buying all the walls. Glad I thought of that at the last moment after, uh, after buying those three. The door was unnecessary, but not going to complain. Uh, okay, I need to slow it down because we're just about done with this. And then we'll go in and see uh, what's available for new workers. Uh, day's almost coming to an end. Let's uh, take that. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new, a new reward. Hiring more skillful workers. Let's claim that. And the, I believe this is our last reward it allows us to smelt bigger ingots. So we need to do all three jobs. So we'll just take something like this first. Oh, those are both metal, that's good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this and we'll be wrapping up soon. So let's, it'll probably take us maybe till day seven or day eight uh, to finish. I have bought some new games for the channel. Um, I am considering quite a few uh, other games and I'm on the fence about even more. So uh, I'm trying to think, Reseteer is one I've bought and not played. It's an older game. I uh, still have Software Inc. and I was enjoying playing it, but I haven't gone back to that in a while. I've been playing a lot of Super Auto Pets and I put a Super Auto Pets video up on the channel earlier today. I've also uh, bought The Day's Ending, so I, I slowed it down for a moment, sorry. Um, it's fun to just watch them. And in real, you know, in this normal time mode, just to see how polished it looks to me with their actions and their mannerisms and everything here. Um, I love it. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, I was trying to level up, but I didn't stop the timer. No angry customers. Uh, 726 in the shop. So definitely made more with the rug in there. And uh, yeah, yeah, just just good. Every day's no money spent, so making decent profit. And let's start the new day, and we'll immediately uh, blacksmith. So uh, doesn't really matter. I'll just put it on metal working. Um, yeah, Super Auto Pets, I was saying, and uh, didn't get back to Software Inc. That's where I had left off, uh, but I was enjoying it. I just, you know, been doing other games, um, trying to think, uh, a couple that have caught my eye that I'm contemplating buying. I saw that they have Dragon Age, uh, which my my deceased father absolutely loved Dragon Age, except for Origins. 
um, and I see that they have all three of them, uh, Origins 2 and Dragon Age 3, all at 90% off for the Ultimate Editions at like $3 a pop or four dollars or something i'm almost considering buying them and giving them a play since i i never really did um and since he loved them so much but i wouldn't put those on the channel uh, what else is on sale now oh there was a gladiator guild manager that caught my eye i'm considering um and a couple others oh another level up i'm not paying attention here uh she is just uh carrying oh no i'm sorry she's a blacksmith so let's just keep it on metal work for now oh and assistant was ready i saw that at the last second i needed to click that uh so she's just carrying so let's just make it four okay there we go yep someone carrying over here right now restocking for us I'll be interested to see how far we can push uh, the profit uh, aspect of this game with the shop, the, uh, you know, I think it will obviously be limited by map requests to a degree that, you know, there's only so much you can do, but it's the shop that really interests me on how fast and far we can push that uh, to being a moneymaker. Uh, I'll be interested. Oh, we're completed, sorry, not paying attention. Okay, we need, uh, what was it? Two more, so what's this one? Beautiful, go. Let's just speed up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm dragging this out and I unnecessarily just so I can talk about other games and the channel. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Not a lot of people watch uh, my playthroughs and I don't expect that will ever change. And that's fine. I, if I get better, maybe, uh, maybe the interest will uh, increase. So that's what I'm here to do is uh, practice, 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 practice. Don't know if I ever told that story. I was riding a commuter train uh, for years, and one day some high school kids got on it, and one of the kids spent the whole damn time narrating everything he did and everything his three friends did I don't want to lay off yet. Uh, and we'll just do this. He narrated everything that him and his three friends did. In so much that if he was going, if he laughed, he would say his own name and he would laugh and then say his own name and say, so-and-so laughed. And then, you know, so-and-so cut his sideways glance at his friend so-and-so. And I was like, oh, God, this kid is so freaking obnoxious. And as I sat there listening to him and his friends, I realized the kid is brilliant because he is obviously trying to hone his skill in either commentating, you know, maybe for newscasting or for sports or, you know, some live commentary. And this would have been, I don't know, like somewhere in the 2000 to 2003 range for years, the year 2000, the year 2003. I don't think YouTube was a thing then, but my God, you know, looking back on it, it was smart. I could never do it, especially on a commuter train. Um, I know Ralph Feynman, I'm sorry, did I say Ralph? Um, Richard Feynman, it is getting late now. Richard Feynman, you know, uh, wrote the book, What Do You Care What Other People Think? or something similar to that title. But uh, 
Yeah, I still wouldn't, you know, I still would never do that. Oh, he's smelter, so we'll just do speed. Um, okay, so they, they probably won't finish today. Let's just speed it up. Uh, so just a side story, sorry to digress uh, about uh, something, but yeah, just fascinating. Um, guess it's really no different than, you know, the kid who beats on the desk because he can't play the drums in school. Uh, So if I haven't thanked the devs a thousand times, let me thank them one more time. Untitled Studio, I believe, is the name. Um, we're doing great with our ingots now. We're actually overproducing ingots compared to the usage of them. We'll just refill the wood since I was paying attention to it. Our shop is stocked uh, fully, practically. Yep, it's staying right at nine. We did finish this request today. So let's complete that. We need one more. That only needs six wood. That needs none. We'll just do that. Escape, fast forward. We're through with the day anyway. Um, we're doing great on money. So. Wait, we unlocked higher level staff, didn't we? Yeah, tier four, tier five. What about assistance? Yeah, look at that. Four speed, four carry, four carry, three carry and three speed. And we can refresh. Um, so there's tier sixes. And how about cashier? Tier five, much better than our tier. You know what? Let's hire. Oh, okay. Would that speed things up? I don't think it gives more customers. Do we have any? Well, we're going to end the day when I close this. Um, so really nice. Um, that was the replacement of the wood. Uh, good profit. No angry customers. Um, less money. We're only, only selling nine. So maybe a second cashier? with a higher thing? It's not the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Let's see if, what that does. And the game does, I don't, I don't think the game just stops whenever you, uh, when you uh, complete this. I think you can continue playing. Um, we need a special this. And uh, let's Z it over. I want to move these down here. I want to move this over here. They never go on that side and the customers never come on this side. Let's go ahead and look at the racks. Let's, uh, I'm tempted to put a, a weapons rack, but let's hold off on that. Um, don't know that we'll ever get to it, but, uh, now let's hire our new cashier. Did not mean to click off, sorry. Okay, it was Sidon? No, level six, sorry, Caleb. Wow, look at that. Caleb, or, or Goddeth, I guess we could have hired. Uh, so could hire both. Could hire both. Get rid of, uh, get rid of her, but no, no. Let's uh, let's keep who we have. Let's speed up, get this process going. Move over here. So yes, we now have two cashiers. You know what? Maybe we will. Let's pause. Let's uh, let's lay off our level two. And let's hire level six. I'm, I'm clicking, but I just meant to circle level six. Uh, maybe this will get us more. We'll, we'll compare today with uh, previous with yesterday. Now that we have an extra cashier, we have two cashiers that are level six compared to one level two cashier. 
but the same amount of uh, same amount and type of product. It'll be interesting to see if our uh, and the same decorations. Uh, so our prestige hasn't changed. It'll be interesting to see if they sell more than uh, a single level two cashier. I would think uh, we'd see significantly more sales. Uh, since we've had no angry customers, that means we have no empty shelves every day. Would be my understanding. Oh, we got to level up. Assistant uh, to carry ores. So we are obviously putting that into capacity. In fact, we could look to hire or re-roll or we could hire a three and three assistant um yeah and and we could re-roll blacksmiths see if we could get like a monster level six with uh you know all metal or all wood yeah let's just let's i, I think i probably should just wrap it up soon um since we're just about to the end of the demo. So he's just designed, oops, sorry. Well, we could get a new person, but I meant to, excuse me, level him up, not lay him off. Sorry about that, Neil. Oh, we're almost done. Let's slow down for, well, be ready to slow down since uh, looks like any moment she went out the door to fill the rack did i just see that right yeah she went out this door went in this door filled the rack and is coming back this way funny all right m and that's done and we need no more i think this will end the tutorial part of the demo but i think you can continue the demo i think at some point the requests uh, dry up on the map and you'd be left uh, just running the shop. What am I? Oh, I need to. Yep. Sorry. And I had said that before. If it's uh, doesn't have the orange box and isn't lit up, then you need to um, unlock it in the design blueprints feature. So metal scoop is what we need now. So let's back out into the design blueprints and uh, I'll go to utensils. So we'll find it faster. Metal scoop and unlock go back to all I think it does all anyway but now we go back here we do this we do that we exit we speed up and let's yeah we're at 121 or now I'll just replace it while I'm watching it and uh, <clears throat> I guess it might be quicker because she has to come all the way around here to get to there so that's why you know the assistants are going out around and here if I left a gap in there or let move these away from the wall they'd probably just go straight down which you know again optimization uh, for when the early access or the full game comes out especially um, I think all these things could be used to increase profits and productivity. So the day is about done. We're not going to finish this job today. So it looks like the ninth day will probably be the end of the tutorial. I will go ahead and show um, how to set up uh, smelting uh, for higher level ingots. And... Uh, when that becomes available and we'll talk for a moment about the uh, roadmap item or two that wasn't included in the progress uh, display uh, from the map so here we go made 1358 uh, spent a lot on uh, hiring uh, since we replaced our cashier with two level sixes, uh, that would be uh, spent for the wood. That would be uh, for the cashier booth, I think. And uh, we, 
Actually, it says it cost us four for salaries, but I thought it was a $4 refund, which should have shown up over here. Right, devs? Not that the devs are going to watch this whole video or ever see that, but am I mistaken, people? Was it not that we got refunded or was it a penalty? I'll have to watch the video and see, but I, if that was a refund, I think it should be over here. Um, if it was a penalty, then I stand corrected as I sit down uh, here and uh, they would be right. So let's look at day. S I'm sorry, let's look at angry customers. None again. Items. We only sold 11 and yesterday we sold nine. So we really didn't sell a lot more with higher level cashiers, uh, but we did sell more. So it'll be good. Let's run all the way through day nine and then I'll probably wrap it up. Give it one more day to see what uh, kind of sale we have in the shop at the very least as I uh, also work on um, showing how to smelt the higher tier ingots. In fact, I'll have to do that tomorrow because I would probably move this mope out of the way uh, to uh, Neil, sorry, didn't want to call you a mope, but I'd probably move Neil out of the way uh, and put the higher tier ingot here, uh, smelter, higher tier smelter. So we have a blacksmith, uh, we'll just give him metalworking. Oh, completed. I see it. Bottom right. I think it just popped. Congratulations. You've unlocked smelting too. It allows you to smelt ingots into bigger ingots. Okay, I guess that wasn't. What have we not unlocked? Oh, maybe if I place it? Or maybe whenever I back out of this. Let's just see. Well, I still don't want to do all the wood. Let's do this one. Yeah, it's still six, but that's okay. There we go. Thank you. Uh, you've just completed all the content in this demo. Thank you so much for playing. No, thank you developers for creating this uh, masterpiece in my Xbox uh, professional opinion of a demo. Uh, you can add Blacksmith Master to your wish list. Dunn did that um, to get notified when the full game comes out. Absolutely cannot wait for the full game to come out can't wait for the early access can't wait for anything the devs want to do an updated demo um i am here waiting so new metal types we've already seen that with the copper the silver the gold um including the iron uh, mines when mining and hiring miners and, and feeding them and giving them other perks and boosts through uh, unlocked or, or new content uh, more crafting with uh, leather and other items and uh, sharpening and possibly repairing items maybe coin minting which was not in the other progress menu that i could find wow wow um we're gonna finish out the day uh and our ore is still going up doing great there doing fine on our monies so uh, the beginning of day 10 at the end of this day or actually let's level up this person I can't move this until Neil moves okay he's a smelter so speed 
So I just want to move this to, well, I guess it doesn't matter, really. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let me let me just start uh, putting the higher. So here's the next, here's the original smelter. Here's the new higher tier smelter. So we would just buy this, and obviously we would put it as close as we could to that to expedite the process. But maybe at this point, of unlocking of having just unlocked it that wouldn't be the wisest thing because we're you know it's slowly increasing over here so maybe it would be better to have it back here and then we're going to need uh this storage unit and what will happen here is we need to change this to store higher level ingots iron ingot iron ingot 2 and then we need to hire a black i'm sorry not a blacksmith we need to hire an assistant uh with speed and he will use the smelter and I would like to see you get to choose which smelter they use I don't know that it would really matter but I just think it might be more interesting so our new employee new assistant should What have I done wrong here? Is it under? I've got the red here. This is a smelter two. This is an ingot two. I've asked him. Maybe I need someone to carry ingots as well. Perhaps. Well, let's see. Let's put another bench in. I, I didn't do this in the previous tutorials that I played through the pre sorry the previous demos that I played through I I clicked this but I never finished it so let's see if I can finish it here um, let's hire one more assistant ain't like we're hurting for money right um, let's do carrying goods I guess for that person or for someone here you carrying goods um, no other ingot storage that can be selected with the same ingot type and the same ingot size. Yeah, we're not trying to move them. I've hired someone to use the smelter. Can any, if anyone watches this, can you see what I'm doing wrong? We need an assistant. Okay, we're trying to take ingots from this stack, two of them, put them in this smelter, and have them come here as an iron ingot too. So let's back out of this. Let's, oh, maybe... Maybe put them over here while they do it? Or are they just going to do the same one again? They're all three going to work on this. Why are none of them grabbing ingots from here using this smelter and putting... Oh, I see the job completed in the meantime. So we'll complete that. Let's just finish this and be done. Um... Uh, woodworking. Yeah, what have I got wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Is this not implemented yet correctly?
We want ingot 2 stored here. Iron ingot 2. This is the smelter that crafts ingot 2 from smaller ingot 1s. We cannot change anything with this. Same as that. We can change this Didn't think it would work, but I was just trying anything right now. I mean, having another ore box isn't going to matter because this has nothing to do with ore. We have three assistants to use smelters. Oh, yes. Glad I stuck with it. Um, maybe, maybe. Wait, no. Oh, over here. There it is. Okay, I'm an idiot. I didn't. I'm glad I kept thinking it through. Um, now. It's the end of the day. So it isn't going to work. But tomorrow morning, I promise, we're probably going to end this demo. So uh, shame on me for for being so uh, out of it, I guess, at almost one o'clock that I, I had to puzzle my way through this. But I think, I think we figured this out. I did want to see anyway at the end of the day. So we actually lost money. Yay me. Um, we had no angry customers. Actually, we didn't sell any more. So uh, it's not as beneficial as I would have thought at this prestige to have two high level cashiers maybe getting another rack in would help so let's see if someone starts working this forge there we go okay totally on me devs i had faith in you um i figured it had to be me that's why i stuck with it and refused to uh, believe that any part of this demo wasn't complete um and I am so glad to find out I was wrong. But this is interesting. Let me pause. Well, let's let's finish this real fast. And this will probably be the last map job. I don't think any more will pop up. But let's see if they do. Momentarily. I guess I could speed up. There we go. So let's pause and complete we do get two more okay these are already unlocked and so is this one i'm gonna keep rolling I, i'm sorry uh you know i'll i'll put it in the timestamp that everything after this point is post demo and it's just for fun but i want to keep going uh and just see if we can continue playing the game how uh, you know, if the map quests uh, keep appearing, especially now that we've done this, because the next thing I was going to say is now that we've unlocked Iron Ingot 2s, we can actually craft higher tier unlock through the design blueprints and craft higher tier items like that to make even greater profit than the ladles are currently making us or whatever we have wooden scoops I think so we were getting 65 a wooden scoop now that we have these ingots we could switch production of our shop over to things like a uh, big spoon cooking pan and potentially uh, make even more money and have to stop refilling this which I forgot to do oh no not change sorry uh, refill uh, it's still quite full so I'm not 
I'm going to chastise myself too much. I see uh, we have an assistant we can upgrade. Uh, just do that. Oh, I guess that's, is that maxed it for? Or no, she's not the one to level up. I'm, I'm clicking someone wrong. No, I'm, there it is. Oh, this person also leveled up. Okay, smelter would be speed. Never mind, speed. Oh, it'd be interesting if you could take one off that they've already been assigned, but doesn't seem to be, not complaining, just thinking out loud. It doesn't make sense, uh, except, you know, uh, it would be beneficial to us, but no, once a perk has been assigned, it, it probably shouldn't be removable without some penalty. Uh, okay, so let's quickly complete this, and uh, we'll take the other request. I can see we have another level up. Let me do this. Oh, two. So... Uh, I don't even remember what they were doing. What are they doing? She's carrying ore, so she needs more capacity. And he is using a smelter, so he needs more speed. And no blacksmith or cashiers are ready. Might complete this by the end of the day. I think we got this, right? Uh, that's still increasing. Wow, okay. So even though we've started making higher tier ingots with these, we're still, oh, but we're starting to, the supply, the stockpile is going down. We would need to hire, um, actually, we don't because if they run out of ingots, I'm sorry, of ores in the box to create ingot level one they'll just walk over to the warehouse while she's bringing things over and then next time they will go to the box so they don't just sit around and wait they keep uh they keep working by going to the warehouse brilliant just brilliant oh and we completed before the night's through so immediately in the morning we can start a new job and see if we get another one after this so here we go. Let's see. I bet we're going to sell 11 uh, items in the shop again. If I, if I was a betting man, that's what I would bet. Because <clears throat> that seems very consistent at this prestige. So, let's, uh, so decent profit, especially that we spent some money um, on the wood replacement, I think it was. Uh, actually, you sold 14, so it went up uh wow okay good good so definitely went up we had been selling 11 so glad i'm not a betting man or that no one was here to take my bet all right let's quickly roll through this and see if uh more opportunities for map quests come up And you can see, we could be, you know, uh, with the money we've made and the money we're bound to make at this rate, we could, you know, um, start putting up walls and windows and lighting and uh, decorations. We could increase uh, work uh, flow and production by uh, doubling up on... Uh, the different equipment like the forge the anvil and the carpentry in fact that's one thing we probably should have done a long time ago is uh we probably should have put another carpentry table in here Uh, so the person could continuously make ladles, ladles while um, the map quest blacksmiths would have another uh, table to work on map quests. So, yeah. So there's all kinds of things we could still be doing even in this demo. Uh, 
it seems. Let's just see if the map quests dry up or if they continue to populate. And we're going to finish this by the end of the day, I would think. Definitely. How many does this hold? 150. And like I was saying, we could put another rack in here. I was thinking, and I think I said earlier, we could put another rack or two in here, start selling additional items, higher priced items. Um, yeah, we could hire another uh, war assistant to carry ore over here to increase these supplies. We could hire another designer in to increase our blueprint, but we have 235 we haven't spent. But there's definitely things we could spend that on. Uh, we could finish decorating the floor uh, with uh, tiles. And did I say walls? I know. I do, I do think it would be... Uh, I, I haven't found an option, uh, but it, it might be interesting to be able to have the walls um, transparent and or... Uh, I can't find a way to, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can rotate the view, but I haven't seen a way to get more of a top-down view or, or less of a top-down view. Um, maybe that would be interesting, I don't know. It does, it keeps populating. All unlocked, all unlocked. I was wondering, I, the reason I was continuing is I wanted to see if it would start requesting items from uh, ironing at twos. And so far it hasn't. But I thought in a previous playthrough, I saw a map request come in with ironing at two. And I thought, oh, um, you know, I haven't unlocked it. And I, I uh, the design and uh, it's the end of the tutorial or the demo. So I was just going to. Uh, forget it, you know, shut it, and I shut it down, and then later just restarted the demo. Um, but I thought I saw map, these map requests come in with a item requiring ironing at two. And if so, I don't know. It, it's just... What a game. What a game. Already. Just a, a demo. What a game. Thanks. Bye.